Hi, here I'm just going to present you how to do Hello World or CGI at a simplest application you can imagine. Um, so first I'm going to install uh, JBus Header 6. I can use JBus Runtimes to see which are installed in this. We don't have anything, no VTP, no seam, no trolls. Uh, so I'm just going to search and uh, find a directory I have in my runtime tenant called JBus Runtimes. And you see there's a few of them there, and it finds them all EAP and SOAP. And when it sets through, <coughs> the VTP runtimes are there, the server runtimes, etc. So you can start using it. No need to manually configure everything. Okay, so let's see here there's a server. We're going to start up the AS6 server, just run in the background. Um, and now I'm going to create a, a, new, uh, a new dynamic web project. So I do control N and say type dynamic web project. Say so, okay, give it a name, see that it test. And the only thing I need to remember is to uh, click modify. And here in modify, I, I click context and depends injection to get the CDI support. I click finish, a simple web product is created. Just gonna ignore that one. You see in here there's a web content folder. So a little thing in beta 2 is that we need to create a, a, a bean 6 ml and empty one. Uh, and we can do that just by um, clicking say new bean 6 ml, a uh, new, new XML file. Um, just going to call that bean XML, which is the marker file CDI uses. Um, I'm just going to type in beans uh, in here just for good measure. So in the next version, that is going to be handled automatically. You don't have to worry about that. But if you want to try it now, that's what you do. Okay, so we're going to create a server too and um, put in the package name or CDI test, uh, hello uh, world, uh, sorry, hello, hello servlet. Um, and we're going to add to the get method just a simple uh, write line to the a print line to the output. So response, get output stream, uh, print line and uh, type a little bit of HTML here so it gets rendered uh, correctly. Um, I'm going to create, assume we have a hello world, a hello property with a get greeting on it. Um, So I'm going to create the field hello. Uh, I'm going to say that's called hello world. And let Eclipse create the class. And then of course we need to add the method get greeting to it. And here we're just going to make it return a, a simple greeting like uh, return hello world. So now the servlet, of course, compiles is there, but we need to go in and add to add inject so that something gets injected into this hello world. <clears throat> and we need to fix the import. Yeah, we first just to show you we can deploy the CDI test project. It shows it's being deployed. There it goes, and we say run the servlet, and voila, hello world is printed out. Uh, very simple, very basic hello world. Uh, just to show some of the debugging stuff, we can go and change this to hello from yeah, give us tools in Developer Studio. Type it in, a save. Go back and reload. It's there. Yeah, and just to show a final thing is the all debuggers, of course, enable. You can go and, and put a breakpoint uh, in your code and reload again. And it asks if you go to debug mode and it goes in. It's there. And yeah, again, I can 
change these things and it will be done because it's uh, going to be the normal Java debugger attached to it. Save. Run it again. Go back and it returns Java Tools in the Web Studio. There you have it. Uh, the simplest example uh, of showing CDI.